Good morning. Man, it is a balmy 32 degrees here on a beautiful mid-March winter day. The trees are beautiful, the birds are singing, and the clouds are low. In fact, it's uh, undercast today, meaning that the peak summits are above the clouds. Well, they're probably gonna be dissipated by the time I get up to my first summit. Oh, by the way, I'm filming this whole entire video today on my GoPro. Because this is a minimalist endeavor, I'm not gonna carry my big camera like I normally do. But I thought this would be a great opportunity to test out and see what my Go GoPro can do. Today is a special day. And guys, honestly, I only want to bring special videos to you guys anymore. That's why I don't upload frequently, because I'm not gonna bring you guys content that's just repeatable and boring, you know? But this is gonna be my first of several skiing videos. Uh, this is an entire ski vlog, I guess you could say. And uh, well, I'm hopefully not gonna make a fool of myself today. My name is Jonathan Zaharik, welcome to the video. We are in the beautiful heartland of the Adirondack High Peaks here. And uh, you know, it's been a sporadic winter. We've had our good moments, we've had our bad moments. And uh, well, skiing is much better than snowshoeing, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you can see how fast I'm going. But today I'm doing something called Johansson's or Johansson's Last Call. And it is a ultra ski um, that's about 33, eh, 30 to 33 miles somewhere in there and just over 7,500 feet of vert. Basically the loop is for those who enjoy long and hard backcountry skis here in the high peaks. Basically the route starts you at Heart Lake and it has you going up the right peak trail to the summit and then down via the ski trail on right peak, then down and up and over Whale's Tail to Marcy Dam, all the way up to Avalanche Lake, back to Marcy Dam, all the way up to Marcy, back down the Marcy Dam, and then taking South Meadows Road out to the Mr. Van Ski Trail, and you'll take that all the way out to the main entrance of Cascade Cross Country Ski Center. It's a lot. I'm also about to head out west here in a couple days, so following this video, hopefully I'll bring you guys a lot of content from Colorado and Utah, because I'm heavily getting involved in the backcountry world. For those of you who don't know, I've been trying to challenge myself to just backcountry ski and to learn that well. I'm somewhat new to it, this is my second season, but I've dedicated all of my time in the backcountry and half of it at the resort, trying to learn survival skiing and just, you know, doing the best that I can. If I, if I wipe out, I'll put it in the video. So I normally film everything on my Nikon Z6. That's why it looks so much better, but this is a lot more stabilized as you can tell. A few days ago, we had a decent melt, our third big one of the season, followed by about a foot of snow. And last night, looks like to be about a fresh three to four inches. And it's gonna get to about 47 degrees today and sunny. So all this beautiful snow and the trees is gonna be gone by halfway probably. And uh, I'm probably gonna be rocking in my t-shirt after this. It's gonna get hot, the snow's gonna be sticky. So with that being said, let me just take you right into what I'm skiing on. I am on Vole Hyper Vectors. Uh, these are backcountry skis. They are dedicated for backcountry skis. They have fish scales in the bottom, as you can see. So they're obviously not the fastest on downhill, but uh, they do great with going on uh, shallow uphill inclines. And they allow me to go on flat stuff like this super fast without having to use skins right away. Skins are, uh, I have skins in my backpack right in the back there. I'll be using those later. Uh, but I also have a Alpine binding on. It's uh, the G3Z9 binding, super lightweight. And uh, these are the Solomon X Alpine ski boots, all ultra lightweight carbon. And I can walk in this bad boy and feel great. It's not a cumbersome ski boot by any means. I can go and ski into a high peak, strap my snowshoes on and run up the peak and come down. And I feel like I'm wearing regular hiking boots. All in all, I think each entire foot weighs about four pounds or so, right? Around four pounds each foot, binding, ski, and boot. You can't beat it. All right, I'm gonna put my skins on here. I know I could have started with my skins, but 
I'm okay with taking the three minutes to just put them on with the easier approach. Also, it's already hot. And like, I already think having my gloves in this mid layer on and my hat's already too much. I'm really hoping that my skins last today. That's always a problem on this, this run with people is they're always having a skin problem. But these are my skins. They are the G3 Minimist Glide. So they stick like that. And this is how you go uphill. This is, uh, they're almost, I think these are 50%, these might be a mohair blend. See, so this way there's no friction and then this way there is friction when it's going uphill. Just clips on like that. So now the skin stick the snow and they allow me to go uphill. By the way, these tracks today, ah. Woo I might be going shirtless up to right peak in March. Man, it is gonna be so beautiful. Look at that. Oh man. All right, here's the intersection for the Right Peak Ski Trail. This is for skiing only. This is the regular trail. Man, it's hot. But I'll be coming down from this direction, going up this direction. We might have to take the skis off here, but uh, maybe not, let's see. All right, and here is the intersection. Whew. All right, I'm really hoping to get up the right peak ski trail uh, to the tree line at least uh, without having to take my skis off. But beautiful blue skies, and it uh, looks like we'll be above the clouds. Look at that view. Coming up the tree line, and here is tree line. I'm gonna put everything on now so I'm ready to go off once I get up there. Seek to do more, absolute aid. You guys know 46 of 46 podcast, James Appleton. This is a brand new company that he is running with his friends. It's a CBD company. Uh, basically they have CBD ed 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 edibles, not THC of course, just uh, CBD gummies and stuff like that um, that help with recovery, sleep, calmness, focus, relief. Well, you should follow them on Instagram. I'll plug them in the description below. And if you're a big CBD fan, you should check out their products. I'm gonna put the GoPro on the helmet now as we go up so I'm hands-free. So hopefully we'll be fine here. Kinda nicked that rock, I'm sorry. Gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh. gonna pop up and over the summit and hit the ski trail. I'm not gonna spend much time up here at all. Got a long day ahead of us. Right peak, notoriously windy. Woo! <sighs> all right, wind calmed down just a little bit. Just gonna get down this section first before putting my skis on, getting down to the flats. And I'm now locking my ski boots. They were in walk mode and now I'm putting them in downhill mode. All right, I really hope the view on the GoPro is, is good, is adequate, is an okay view. I'm locking into the skis now. All right, let's get it. I'm gonna call it out. I'm probably gonna fall once, but I'm gonna try not to. I'm not a big fan of these skis on the really hard downhill stuff. It's, they're kind of hard to control, but it's okay. It's not really the ski, it's really my experience. But let's go. Super hot fire when I move, better feel that burn. Get up before 
work. The sun is up, baby, let's work. Good morning. Ready or not, here I come, let's work. Good morning. Get up before the sun is up, baby, let's work. Nobody stopping you today. Low key walking with a sway. Going for the distance, drop top, hopping in the range. East Coast, baby, but I'm hopping in the A, let's go. It's ATL, bro. Go get it, trend set it. We're embedded with the avant garde, the style so synthetic. But a pioneer shine like a golden feather, show the morning. This your last warning. I've been waiting in the foyer, foot on the gas. I'm ready to go ahead. I hate being late, here we go again. Uh, Time to get up. These ghosts, this jacket and sweats, baby girl, that's a get up. Mm -hmm. It's chilly outside, but I'm ready to burn. Super hot fire when I move, better feel that burn. Get up before the sun is up, baby, let's work. Good morning. Ready or not, here I come, let's work. Good morning. Get up before the sun is up, baby, let's work. And God we trust. Today is a day untouched. Even though the hot stack up, act up, I like us. We can slow when the ruckus from the back of the bus. Yeah. Brand new start, I left it yesterday. All behind me for the better way. Either gonna love it or not. Oh, oh there it is. Woo! Go a little fast out of that bad boy. <laughs> I would have been surprised if I didn't get done this without one little fall. But that's okay. Just gained a little too much speed. I'm gonna put you off my chest now. It's the last few seconds and you're almost through. Dig a little deep, got a rep or two. With the left and right, gotta hit that move. Baby girl, you play then hit that school. Baby boy, I can see you leveled over the street. Everybody moving on and you're missing the feet. Breathe in, breathe out. The final push, feel it burn. Hurts so good, now I'm gone. Time to get up. I wanna watch out the rocks now. Super hot fire when I move, gonna feel that burn. Get up before the sun is up, baby, let's work. Yeah, see, stuff like this I gotta watch out for. Coming through. Thank you. Oh boy. Yeah. Here we are. Whale's tail. All right, I'm definitely going a little slower than I want to be. I'm like two hours and 15 minutes in, which isn't great. Let's just get up and over whale's tail here real briefly. This is so beautiful. All right, on top of whale's tail, heading down to Marcy Dam now. Hopefully I won't hit any skiers coming up this. back into walk mode, and I'll be approaching Marcy Dam here. Beautiful. There's Colden. There's the angel slides there for right. Let's get to Avalanche Pass. I'm not gonna spend too much time. I'm just gonna get there. I also wanna conserve uh, battery, not battery, well battery, yeah, and uh, and uh, memory space here on the, on the GoPro. So we're gonna go right here to Avalanche Lake. Go to Avalanche Lake, out and back that, probably two and a half miles about. Then they come back here and go left to Marcy. Another five miles that direction. So, let's keep going. All right, another mile in. Time to go up to Avalanche Lake. Gonna throw my skins on and eat something real quick.
Yeah. Look at that. Avalanche Lake. We are, let's see here, let's get a stat. It's so beautiful. It's 11 o'clock. Eh. So I'm three hours and 50 minutes in moving time and we're 11.3 miles in. So it's not bad. So we're probably around three hours and 15 minutes in. Uh, sorry, it was 3.53 elapsed. 3.15 moving time. So, but uh, we still got a lot more to do. So we're gonna head back down now to Marcy Dam. Wow, look at this. All right, so I just broke my pole. The snow is kicking on the bottom of this stuff now. Oh, that's wonderful. <sighs> Great. Yeah, look at this. My other one, I have another pole like this, but and it has the uh, scraper on it, but I uh, that one broke too. Wonderful. Oh man, that's so sticky. Yeah, I really hope this problem doesn't persist up Marcy, but it probably will. Getting up the Marcy is gonna be rough. This snow is getting super soft. But aside from that, ah uh, man, I don't know what uh, to expect with the skins. But uh, we got about six miles right here till we get up Marcy. Let's grind it. <sighs> Marcy, five miles. I'm gonna see how far I can get without having to put my skins on. I feel like temperature, probably it's like about, right about 45 degrees and sunny. Five miles and uh, probably about 3,000 feet of gain to do, so. Marcy is the wheelchair ramp of the Adirondacks, in case you're wondering. Just because it's the highest doesn't mean it's the hardest. Very long to get to. Round trip, it's like, you know, almost 15 miles. That's in the summertime, it's, you know, bad on the knees. But on skis, it's a breeze. Man, I might be able to get up this whole, uh, this whole mountain without skins. The snow is getting really grippy with the scales. I'm just going uphill. But that skins. I'm now at the intersection for the ski trail and the hiking trail. About another mile or so until I get to the tabletop intersection. I gotta let my heart rate slow down. I'm going up this too fast. All right, I put my skins on. We will see if it lasts. <coughs> oh man, look at that. All right, this is a problem. I cannot get these skins from getting stuck. Ugh. So I was just going uphill, uh, up something called the corkscrew, which is pretty much the only designated ski trail on the Marcy, on the Mount Van Hovenberg uh, trail here. Uh, and it's like the steepest part. So I'm gonna see if I can get away <laughs> without skins, using my scales. Um, I got my skins here, in the pack on the side, seeing if they dry out. So I hope I can make it. I'm just, I'm not gonna go all the way to Marcy if I just, if I just can't do it, you know, like, like if the conditions are just too wet and soft and whatever, but you know, we're just out here having fun at the end of the day. So I hope you're enjoying the video. Hi again. You're fine. How are your skins managing? Yeah, I just took them off and seeing how far I can get up without them. Yeah, I got scales. See you around. I'm gonna eat again. I got Summit Snacks. You might have heard me reference those before. Summit Snacks from uh, my roommate's mom who has an incredible bakery down in Mechanicville, New York. The Sugar Fairy Bakes. Absolutely mind-blowing baked goods. But these are Summit Snacks, which are pretty much Cliff bars, but 10 times better in the shape of a sphere. 
dense, calorie-packed spheres. All right, I think I'm like three and a half miles uh, past Marcy Dam. I'm hoping I only have a mile and a half left. Oh, this snow's rough. Marcy 1.2. Ooh, I can see the summit right there. Oh yeah. <coughs> there she is. I'm hungry. I'm gonna have some pizza. I also think I hear a helicopter. Mmm. <sighs> I was gonna say this for the summit. I'm weak. Gotta take care of myself. Whew, at the range trail. Oh, this snow is a slog, man. Whew, look at that beauty. I still hear that helicopter. Gonna put my skins on now and see how it turns out, they're all dry now. So that's a good thing. All right, skins are dry. Hopefully we can ascend to the summit to Marcy with my skins on and have an incredible five mile downhill ski out to Marcy Dam. This is gonna sound uh, crazy, but I, I actually think there's a helicopter in Avalanche Pass. Like someone might be getting rescued off of the trap dike. Winter climbing the trap dike, that, that is. But it's like I still hear the helicopter and it's been like 10 or 15 minutes now and it keeps echoing back and forth and I don't see anything. So I'm looking at Colden and Algonquin. So my best guess is they're in between those two peaks right there. I think it's just chilling. Very. Yeah. Woo. Marcy. from here I'm going all the way to Mount Van Hovenberg which is pretty much as far as the eye can see it's like uh, way over there about eight or eight miles away as the crow flies let's do it enjoy you too Bye, Marcy. So much better than snowshoes.
here comes the corkscrew. This is the crux. Let's do it. Man, my hips are burning. All right, here we go. Woo! Oh man, my hips. Oh. I didn't fall. The snow is definitely a lot more soft and I'm going a little slower than in you know normal conditions. So it's allowing me to think faster. Giving me, sorry, it's giving me more, more time to think. I know my form, I, I like my skis aren't you know together as much as they should be. I kind of sometimes try to carve in pizza mode sometimes going down. So I, I know that, but uh, when I can, I try to keep my skis together, so. It's all learning, all learning process. All the really fun downhill is over now. I might have one little one going over Mount Van Hovenberg, but uh, I'm back in walk mode right now. Bummer. Coming up to Marcy Dam here though. I think the descent from Marcy for me just now was maybe 35 minutes. It's just been a lot, like maybe 30, maybe 40. It's just been really slow. Like the snow is so slow. And without having the other pole, I can't thrust. You know, I can't keep going. And I got scales. So triple whammy, man. And there we are. Off to Route 73. I don't even have a mileage. I really have no clue how far it is. I mean, it's probably, probably another seven miles on flat. We are on the infamous Mr. Van ski trail now. This is, uh, look at this. Ah. Ah. On the Klondike Notch Trail now, for a very short amount of time. Mr. Van ski trail will continue. Right up here. I am now breaking trail. Woohoo! <sighs> Wonderful. Uh, might have a spot to cross over there. All right, let's see if we break through. Very nice. Ah, just kidding. Ah, we're good. Ah, look at this forest. This is gorgeous. This is the last main crux. It's about 300 feet of climbing, maybe a little less. I'm gonna try to do it without my skins. So, oh my gosh. Crested the hill. Ah. I am now intersecting with the Mount Van Hovenberg hiking trail. Uh, the snow is so slow. Uh, this tree is gonna kill me. I'm so hungry. Uh, uh, yeah, this is definitely taking longer than I thought it would. I think it's mainly the conditions though. Almost there. Oh. <sighs> Less than a mile. Beautiful sunset. I see the finish. <sighs> 
Let's dismantle the skis. Oh man, I am so hungry. I gotta go to the sign. Uh, and there it is. My gosh, I don't have a ride home. My ride fell through. Thanks, Dave. All right, let's see here. Total stats, 34.4 miles, 11 hours and 18 minutes. Well, that was like an hour and a half past my goal that I wanted, but guys, I'm so tired. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog on my GoPro. I'm going out to Colorado and Utah, guys, so make sure you like and subscribe to see some epic backcountry ski content coming your way. So I'm Jonathan Zaharik. See you next time. But I'm ready to burn. Super hot fire when I move, better feel that burn. Ben LeBlanc has come to the rescue. Thanks, Ben. Hi. For real? Oh, man. Sheesh. I eat all the good ones. I'll have the three. I'll have these three. Thank you. Okay, eat them. I don't want them anymore.